Hi friends, welcome to Kitchen Princess Bamboo Japanese Everyday Food. Today I want to share with you what I eat in a day. It's my turn. This topic is requested. Some of you have been asking. As you know, I am in the food industry for 17 years. I have a lot of opportunity to taste food more than new. People asking me how I can stay slim and healthy while eating such a lot of food. I weigh 52 kilograms, that is 114 pounds, maybe, and 166 centimeter tall, that is 5.5 feet, and these numbers haven't changed for more than 30 years. But to tell you the truth, I had trouble with eating h a b i t when I was young. I was on a diet all the time because young girls, supposed to be thin, didn't know we are already thin. It was late 80s when I was a teenager, and、uh, fat is considered as bad for your health, and we avoid taking it to stay slim. I was a firm believer in low calorie diet myths. I was always hungry and I was always thinking about food because I couldn't get satisfaction from the diet food. But this book opened my eyes. The Bulletproof Diet by Dave Asprey it literally blew my mind. What? High fat diet? I couldn't believe the logic because it's completely on the opposite side of my diet. But after I read through the book, I was convinced of one of his logic. Your brain is made of fat, so we should take more fat to be more creative and productive. I was more interested in this logic, much more than losing weight. And I started taking butter coffee, aka bulletproof coffee, in the morning. And it continuing for more than five years. What I appreciate about butter coffee is I am free from the hunger in the morning. I can concentrate on my job and I am so productive ever. I didn't follow the way of eating the author r e c o m m e n d other than butter coffee. Because eating huge steak or chicken without eating carbs. Is not realistic in Japanese diet. So, I can say I am on a hybrid diet of bulletproof diet and Japanese diet. Let's take a look at my life from the aspect of food and daily activities. My day starts on 6 in the morning to make my son's bento and breakfast. And I feed my cat Alex. He w o r k around me while I am in the kitchen, sometimes interrupting by jumping up on the table. When my family left, I do the laundry. My son is on the baseball team, so I have a lot of dirty uniform every day. I used to hate the laundry, but now I appreciate the normal life as we did before the pandemic. While the washing machine is running, I take butter coffee and makeup. And then I clean the house and do a short but effective exercise. I believe a little goes a long way. After that, I start working at home. That's 8 30 to 9. It's usually developing new recipes for my customer, shooting videos, and writing scripts. And a lot of things about videos and website. Around 11 30 to 12, I eat lunch. My lunch is always like this a big portion of salada and toasted shok pen. I love shok pen so much. And I go back to my work after lunch. And the other day is like this this bread is store bought. Very moist walnut bread and、uh, leftover from my son's bento lunch. This is the reality of Japanese mom's lunch.
the salada with lettuce and onsen tamago that I always keep in my fridge and toast it shok pan and latte. And this is my favorite way to enjoy my toast. Spread the mayonnaise onto the surface and toast it until golden brown in a toaster oven. And yogurt and granola, which I have been eating for more than 10 years as a breakfast. I like granola and yogurt. Actually, this combination is good any time of the day. And around 4 o'clock, I take a break. When you work from home, we need something sweet to cheer up for the rest of the day to keep our productivity. I eat something sweet almost every day with a cup of coffee or tea, depending on the mood. And then I work for a couple of hours and start preparing dinner. Japanese typical dinner is like this grilled mackerel for the main course and simmered pork and daiko radish for the side dish and one more side dish tomato and mozuku seaweed. Well balanced meal with protein and vegetable and seaweed. And we eat not only typical Japanese dinner but we eat Japanese style western dishes like this. This is a pork spare rib simmered in tomato sauce. And this is cauliflower cream miso soup and some small side dish goes well with rice. In a Japanese dinner table, the western style and very Japanese style is mixed in one plate, just like this. There is uh, only one rule you have to keep in mind is the side dish should be goes well with rice. And we also like Italian dishes like this. This is my family's favorite homemade sausage in a tomato sauce. And today I use the Bugatini, the thick long pasta goes well with strong taste sauce like this. And we can't forget the curry rice. Today's curry roux is a little bit thinner than usual and spicier and topped with sweet and savory beef and fried onion and potato korokke and served with seaweed Korea soup. Curry rice is rich and a little bit heavy so to balance out we serve light and which in fiber seaweed soup. The Japanese food is all about the balance. We eat so many kinds of ingredients, as I said, beef and chicken and pork every other day, and we eat a lot of vegetables, fresh or simmered. I believe that if our body is filled with enough nutrients, we are satisfied and stop eating at a certain point and we can stay healthy. Alright, that's my version of what I eat in a day. I hope the video is giving you a tip to improve your diet somehow and I hope my cooking videos are helpful for our life is changing after the pandemic. We can't go out for the dinner for a while but still, we can make delicious food at home. Please leave the comment if you like more videos like this and if you have any questions about my diet, I will be happy to answer. Thank you for watching the video. Give me a big thumbs up and share the video with your friends and families. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Follow me on the social media and tag me on your post if you give it a try. And go to my website for more information. And my store on Amazon has pretty much everything that I'm using in my video. Stay safe and stay healthy, and I will see you soon. Bye!